What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I'm 16 days into my breeding project for 2022, and I wanted to go over some important factors um, of why you should always be observing your plates and why it's important to mark if you have any um, bacteria contamination early on Normally I'll just discard those plates, but some people don't have an option um, to go through lots and lots of plates and they like to um, work around the bacteria. So first of all, I'll show you the difference between bacteria and mycelium. So this is an oyster petri dish. It's been inoculated for about 16 days now and you can see this dense colony here which some people might confuse for mycelium but it, you can notice it's very dense it doesn't have any filaments um, protruding out of that colony and there's a tiny little colony right next to it which looks like the same um, bacteria so this was from a streak plate you can see the different lines from um, when I streaked out the spores and up here towards the top that is mushroom mycelium so notice how thin filamentous it is it's more irregular in shape but these spores had just appeared about eight hours prior so it took about 14 days for these spores to germinate but in about a week from now all of that mushroom mycelium is going to overtake this petri dish just like this brown oyster here so the spores will kind of mate with each other and then you can go through and select different healthy regions to create different phenotypes. But I wanted to point out that if you look very carefully, you can't see any bacteria because the mushroom mycelium has overgrown that bacteria. But when these spores first developed, I marked on my Petri dish where that bacteria colony was and if you look kind of closely you can see the region right here which is a little bit discolored but if i didn't mark that and i looked at this plate about two weeks later it would look perfectly healthy so that's the importance of marking your contamination and observing your plates um, while you're growing from spores all right guys i hope you enjoyed that video comment below if you have any questions about that um, and check out our other videos on breeding mushrooms with spores there's a whole playlist and um, I just started sectoring out some new phenotypes for the spring um, we've got some really good results so I'm excited for that subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these and check out our Etsy fresh fungi I've got some new liquid cultures brewing and um, a bunch of new phenotypes getting ready for springtime. <laughs> All right guys, until next time, much love.